Princess Sugar here coming at you guys today with a review being brought to you by samsbeauty.com. They were kind enough to send me out the upscale 13 by 4 kinky straight 22 inch lace front wig and I have it in the natural color. Um, of course you guys know this is a human hair wig so you can bleach it, dye it, perm it, do whatever you want to do with it. As it is on the 13 by 4 um, frontal, you can of course, you know, pluck the hairline, make it look or look a little bit more natural. You can bleach the knots and things like that. Now, dolls, I ain't doing all that. I'm lazy. So this is the look that I came up with. I decided to um, put it up in a half up, half down style, um, because I am going to show you dolls, um, you know, how we can style it up, just in case you know we don't want to wear it straightened out. You know, give it that blown out look. We're gonna go ahead and wand curl and see what she looks like. Okay, so this wig does have a good natural sort of semi pluck hairline here's that hairline as you guys can see i didn't have to pluck or tweeze or anything like that i just went along with this hairline but look at this texture oh my goodness look at look at this texture and it feels so buttery soft dolls like i have no product on this hair whatsoever like literally no product has been placed on this hair um i put it in a little ponytail wrap some hair around it so it'll look a little bit more natural and this is what i came out with dolls now i do um have to say this this wig is adhered down and i use my um ors fix it super hold spray along with the um fix it grip gel so here's the gel and here's the spray so I went in with the gel first, and then I went in with the spray, um, just so it'll, you know, because I don't want this, I, I don't want this wig moving, like, it ain't going nowhere. Do you hear me? It ain't going nowhere. So, you know, that's why I went with the spray and the gel, because I don't want this to move, because I'm going to be curling it and things like that. And I want it to stay put, since I do have it in a ponytail. This is why I went with both of the products. But dolls, these are so much better than the got to be glue, Okay. If you have not tried these out, I so recommend these two products. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to show you the cap construction. The reason why I didn't do like a whole unboxing and trying on and things like that is because I don't know if you guys are sick of doing that. You guys already know what the wig will look like, you know, basically when it come out the packaging. But, um, it like I said, it's on 13 by 4 front. So I already do have a, um, a wig from this line that I reviewed Friday for y'all. So here's basically the cap construction. Um, this wig... This wig comes with three combs. Um, you're gonna get two combs in the front, comb in the back. It does come with the adjustable straps. And your frontal is basically gonna be, you're gonna mostly get your parting here in the middle, which is why I was able to do a half up, half down style. And then you get some lace on the side, so it can look just a little bit more natural. And here are what my sides are looking like. Now I didn't, um, I chose not to go with the more defined part and things like, you know, because I, I want it to look really, really natural. Like, I got a good blowout done on my hair. And that's the look that I think I achieved. But, dolls, this hair is super duper soft. It is 22 inches, and this is where it falls on me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get to styling our kinky straight wig. But, dolls, this is so doggone pretty. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this hair feels like a butter. This texture is done perfectly. Um... Plus, guess what, dolls? This wig is under $150, dolls. Under $150, you are not going to break the bank. Very budget-friendly. I'm getting y'all some human hair wigs that we all can afford without us having to, you know, go into our tax funds. You can actually pay for this out of your regular paycheck, okay? You don't need to use your tax refund. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and um, get to styling, and then we're going to kiki it up in the comments in the outro. All right, hold on one moment for me.
curly wig. I didn't, you know, do too much fussing with it. Added some heat protectant um, on the hair so it doesn't fray or get, you know, frizzy or anything like that. Once I ran my fingers through the curls and boom, look at these curls, y'all. It looks so doggone pretty. I am loving the results. This hair is bomb, y'all. Oh my goodness, it's so soft. Um, very minimum shedding, no tangling. Like, very easy to style. Even though um, the only con that I do have about it is not a true 13 by 4. It's like a mini 13 by 4, if you want to say. Because you only have that parting right, like, right here where you see my ponytail at. And that's it. And then the rest of it, you're going to feel some tracks. And then you have a little bit of lace on the side so it doesn't look too wiggy. Um, I decided not, you know, I just, I just decided not to go with the baby hairs and things like that because I didn't want to do overdo it. I wanted it to look really, really natural. Um, so yeah, this is my results. This is how it curls. It curls really nicely. However, my arms was getting tired, y'all. That's why I stopped. I was like, all right, y'all see me curl half the wig. We gonna go ahead and curl the other, the other side in the bathroom because y'all, my arms was getting tired. I was like, all right, hold on, wait a minute. It was a struggle, but we got through the struggle. I finished curling her. She curled, I, I want to say it took me maybe about um, about 20, 30 minutes to curl it. Um, that's only because I was moving slow, but I want my curls to fall a certain way. Um, so it probably would have took me less time if I curled it on the mannequin head versus on my head. But, you know, we got through it. Boom, look how pretty this looks oh my goodness this is so doggone pretty so i know what i am going to do i will definitely come back with an update on this wig um so you guys can see how she wears because this is gonna be a keeper for me she is going in my human hair collection um in my human hair collection um side of my wig closet and you know because this is so nice. It can definitely compete with the RPG show and things like that as far as the quality goes. Very good quality, very minimum tangling, no shedding. The hair feels so buttery soft. Like I was, I'm very satisfied with this experience amongst a kinky curly human hair wig. So let me do a little 360 so you guys can see what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and turn to the back. You guys see that? And it is so full. Oh my goodness, like, this wig is so doggone full, dolls. Like, man, I'm thoroughly impressed that this can be found at a beauty supply store. Because y'all know sometimes human hair beauty supply stores get some, you know, they get a bad rap. And most people are like, oh, it's cheap. But now, nah, this is not cheap, very affordable. You're going to get quality hair with a nice wig um, construction where you do have parting and things like that to customize. So yeah, go ahead and get you one. I, I'm i I'm tell you guys right now, scoop you up one. You are going to enjoy it, okay? Like, my experience was so bomb. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go. Follow Sam's Beauty. Purchase link will be in the description box down below. Make sure you guys are following me. I'm Aya All Day on both platforms. That is Facebook and Instagram. Let's keep it up in the comments as always, dolls. And of course, you know, I have other videos that you can check out. So go ahead and check those out. And definitely share. Sharing is caring. It is free to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and go, dolls. Let me know what you guys think about this wig on me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.